Nate Novotny, I'm playing for South Tama. I graduated in 2003. All right, and are you excited for tomorrow's game? Very excited. Get to pad up with uh, some of my cousins, my brother, play with some of the guys I've never had the chance to play with, you know, always watching from the bleachers. So get a chance to pad up on the same field as them, you know, that's, that's honorable. All right, um, who told you about this? Uh, um, me and my brother both know uh, Jerry, who runs the Alumni League and stuff, so he kind of mentioned it to us last year. So we were going to try to get a team together last year, but then he, um, we just kind of ran out of time and everything else, so we decided to get a team going this year. We had more time to plan and you know get people in shape and everything like that for it. Okay, and it sounds like your team got going pretty quickly. Yeah, we... Uh, it got blown up pretty quickly. Yeah, we posted a Facebook thing and tagged a bunch of the players and then mentioned some of the players that we didn't have on Facebook. And, you know, with social media nowadays, you know, it makes things a lot easier to get a hold of people and everything else. And so some people from the class of 93 that heard about it that we might be friends with on Facebook, um, we tagged them in it. And it was just a big uh, whirlwind from there. And next thing you know, we had 85 guys signed up in about a week. So, and about 800 uh, Facebook comments to go on the post. So, <laughs> It uh, drained a few uh, cell phone batteries. <laughs> Great. Tell us, um, why did you guys pick Grinnell? Uh, you know, Grinnell's a big rivalry of ours. You know, we always went back and forth, at least when I was in high school. We had a couple different eras where, you know, they always got our number. They had our number and everything else. But, you know, we always playing pretty tough. And, you know, our two towns seem to hate each other pretty well. So it's always a fun game. It's always right there toward the end of the season. We're both undefeated, both battling for our conference. So they've always given us more trouble than anybody else. So it's always fun to play them. Yeah. We're the smaller town, smaller school. So we're kind of always the underdogs. But when we beat them, you know, it's always something to take home something, something right. that way what's it like playing with all these different age groups oh it's legendary you know it's something you dream about I mean I was 10 12 years old when some of these guys were at the Unidome playing in the finals so you know to get a chance to pad up with these guys a national champ wrestler or anything like that I mean you know you're talking all Americans just to be on the same field as them and be on the same team and hit the same guys you know you can't can't put a price tag on that it's true tell us on one of your favorite high school memories um you know, just the coaches and the players, you know, the camaraderie shit between football, wrestling, I mean, any sport, just, you know, sweating in the weight room, preparing for any kind of battle, whether it's, you know, any kind of game practice, anything, you know, staying healthy and everything else. So, you know, all the all the letters we got, you know, playing for varsity through school, that's definitely most memorable. All right. When you walk through this weight room again, what would that feel like? <laughs> I feel good. Seeing the weights that we used to lift, you know, the same weights that we had back in the 90s. So a uh, few different machines, but a lot of the same ones. So just the fact that the kids going through school right now are lifting the same weights we did, you know, it's uh, kind of put some chills down your spine. All right. Any young guys out there you give advice to? Uh, yeah, just, uh, you know, you might have a guy 260 pounds running at you that you weren't used to in high school, but, you know, they got two legs just like you. You hit, take their legs out and they fall. Don't matter if they're 300 pounds or 100 pounds. Take their legs out and they can't run. So, you know, throw your body into it. Run as fast as you can and tackle. Oh, great. What's your expectation for tomorrow's game? I think it's going to be a close game. I think they're going to be uh, younger and a little faster than us maybe. Younger and maybe in better shape, especially with some of the rugby players they have. But, you know, we've always kind of been bigger and stronger than them. They've always been faster than us. But, you know, you, you take they beat us every other year or something like that, you know, but you put together an all-star team, our athletes versus their athletes, best guy at every position. You know, we don't have any holes. We don't have any weaknesses. So I think it's going to be a close game, but I think, uh, I think we got them. <laughs> I think we got him in muscle for sure. <laughs> That's great. Tell us um, what have you done since high school? Just tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, I moved to Des Moines, so I live there in the capital here of Iowa, and you know I've been trying to stay in a little bit of shape. I play in a lot of leagues, um, flag football leagues, sand leagues, stuff like that. Whether it's softball, flag football, so I mean I still stay pretty competitive um, in that sense, but. Other than that, mostly just working, you know, working as much as I can and staying in good shape. So, uh, what do you do for a living? Uh, right now, I'm a sales contractor for building companies. So, I climb on a lot of roofs, present a lot of estimates, and then um, since I went to school and I've been in the restaurant industry longer than I've not been in the industry, you know, I still kind of keep my ties that way. I work at a couple bars and restaurants, you know, just part time, just to, you know, kind of stay sharp. But it's it's a uh, it's a lot of fun that way. So, I work about two or three different jobs. So, it keeps me busy. All right, Are you gonna be able to sleep tomorrow? Or <laughs> Probably not. All, all day yesterday and all week we've been pretty much having dreams about this game. So it's been, uh, it's been a lot of hype. So 
Tell us who's on. coming to watch you play tomorrow. Um, my girlfriend and some friends are coming down from Des Moines, so they're traveling an hour and a half to come to the game. My parents will be here, all my uncles and aunts. So just the fact that six, seven of us relatives get all pat up on the same team, you know, they always look forward to it. My brother was two years older than me, so the sophomores always played before the varsity. So when we uh, – Finally, my dad was like, finally, you know, we don't have to go to two different towns for games every week. You know, you guys will finally get to play the same night, the same team. And then right when my brother became a senior and I was a sophomore, they switched it to where the freshman played in front of the varsity instead of sophomore. So the one year we were going to have a chance to play on the same field, just different times, uh, they switched that. So we've never been able to play on the same field the same day. So it'll be nice to pad up with my brother. What do you think it does for your family? just to be able to get a comeback. I know it's special for you guys to come back one more time, but what's it like for them? Um, I think it brings the family closer together, you know. It's kind of cool to see, you know, whether whether you had some bickering and fighting or two cousins didn't really get along as kids or anything like that, you know. Now we're all adults and now we all kind of, you know, get that, yeah, on the same team, that whole teamwork, camaraderie. So I think it'll bring our family even closer together and it should be fun. All right, how about the community? Community, you know, we're raising a lot of money for the school, so hopefully they get to do some nice things with the money we've raised for them and set up future games and everything like that so they can kind of put a little fun together, you know, for this kind of game and stuff like that so we get more and more people to come every year and, you know, we can put an AstroTurf or something on this field or build a new weight room or whatever it is, something you know. Special for something special and we can say we we were a part of it, so we started it and hopefully we finish the game. Just like you remember... Uh, those guys getting to go watch them in the dome and everything, that was a big deal to you. Yep. Uh, these guys will look up to you the same, and just being able to see you guys play is going to be a big deal for them. Absolutely. I mean, you got a couple kids that are 18, a couple guys in their 50s, so all of us playing on the same team. My wrestling coach, you know, he's going to be help coaching us, so he was my sophomore football coach. He's now the varsity coach, but he was my also my wrestling coach, so he'll be helping coaching. And then the coach that took him to the, to the finals in the early 90s, you know, he's going to be coaching us too, so it'll be cool just to play with a couple of different coaches that I've never co I've never had coach me before. Mm -hmm. So, should be fun. Great. All right, thank you. Thank you.